Okay, today we are looking at parallel structure, also known as parallelism. <laughs> um, parallel structure, I have said many times, is my favourite topic. It is the best way to improve your use of language. And notice I say language and not English. And that's because parallel structure is in every language. Um, and it's the way that you improve your use of any language. OK, um, so that's why we're studying it today. And we're going to study it in a few more classes because I want to convince you that this is the way that you improve um, the style of your sentences. Yeah, the style of your language. And so if parallelism is important a lot of the time. It's important in a, a lot of sentences. And that's because in a lot of sentences you have a list. Yeah, quite often you have two things and two things is all you need for a list. Yeah, apples and oranges. That's a list. It's a list of nouns. And that's the point with parallel structure, that when you make a list, everything in the list must be comparable. Yeah, you must be able to compare everything in the list because really you are making a comparison any time you list things. And so any time you make this list, you must be sure that the list contains identical elements because you can only compare like with like. That's the that's the idea. Yeah. And any time you make a comparison, you know, you don't only make comparisons with lists. You also make comparisons with the word than. And so any time you have the word than more X than Y, you are making a comparison bigger than smaller than. Yeah. Or as as big as as small as. They're comparisons, and so parallel structure is very important there too. And this means that parallel structure is important in most sentences. That's what it means, because most sentences have a list of two things, at least, you know, somewhere. It's also important with correlated conjunctions, and here's a list of, of correlated conjunctions. And that's, you know, there aren't many more than that. There are some more that I haven't included simply because I don't remember them. But these are the most important ones. And any time you're using a correlative conjunction, you're making a comparison between X and Y. OK, and any time you're using a fanboys conjunction, you're also making a comparison. So I've put lists with fanboys, but quite often lists don't have a fanboys and they still need parallel structure. And fanboys, you know, whatever is on both sides of the correlated conjunction must be equal. And sorry, coordinating conjunction. They are they are coordinating conjunctions, which mean they join equal elements.